My friends, welcome to the Sober Living Channel. My name is Kai. I'm 331 days sober today, and I use this channel to spread awareness, spread positive messages, and to spread hope that no matter how far you are in addiction, there's always a way out, and there's and you can always recover from it. All right. So, just a little background on me. Uh, I was a binge drinker. I drank 24 beers uh, a day, every day, until I passed out. I became suicidal later in life. I tried to kill myself five times, and I have gotten sober. And uh, again, just like in my intro, I'm 331 days sober today. Wonderful. So, what I'd like to do with this video is I would like to talk to the younger people. I would like to have a moment with them just to let them know that what they're doing, they might be going down a really bad path. So I'm just going to begin with that. Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Kai. Listen, I know how it must feel right now. I know how it is when you're young and everybody's partying and everybody's doing drugs. <clears throat> I was there. I was there, man. Um, I used to be the one who was planning all those parties, you know? I was the one who was sneaking beer into school, and I was the one selling weed and out of my locker, you know? I've been there, definitely. Um, I gotta tell you though, you're going down a bad path, because bad, bad, bad things can definitely, definitely happen. And you might not think it'll happen to you, uh, but that's exactly what I thought, you know, and that whole it won't happen to me thing when it comes to Drugs and when it comes to alcohol and when it comes to abuse like that. It's not a matter of If it'll happen to me. It's a matter of when is it going to happen to me? so I just wanted to give you guys a little background. You know, when I was young, I started uh, partying doing magic mushrooms acid uh, smoking weed, doing all that fun stuff when I was around 16 years old, and uh, it was fun at the time, you know, um, but it's very important that I reiterate that it gets old very quickly, you know. When you're with your friend group and you're all together using, that might be a whole lot of fun, you know. But there's going to be a time where you're using so much that you don't use it with your friend group anymore. Now you find yourself using it when you're completely alone. And you used to use it to have fun and, and to enhance the experience of a party or camping or anything like that. But then you notice that you're no longer using it for that anymore. And I just want to let you know that there comes a point where you will use your drugs and you will use and use and you will start to just get sick. Your body will just start to get sick and it will start trying to get everything out and you'll notice that you're going to be throwing up all the time and you're going to be sweating all the time and it's just not going to be fun, you know? Um, I just want to let you guys know that from the time I was 20 years old until I was 30 years old, I did not stop partying. And you know how long it was fun for? It was only fun for maybe six months. Maybe six months. And then after that, it just became one of the worst things in the world, you know? Um, it, it became so bad that it became my crutch, you know. I had to drink four or five beers every day before I could even leave my room and get out of bed. And this can happen to you. You might not think it will, but it could. Um, when I came home from work, uh, I would have to drink my entire my entire lunch break I would have to drink the entire time and I'd stumble back to work and sometimes I'd get sent home sometimes I wouldn't but the fact of the matter is I'd stumble to work and it was <clears throat> it was just terrible 
and I want to tell you that you might not think that you're getting there, but these are things that can happen. You know, um, after a couple years of alcohol abuse, and this is only when I was about 22, uh, I was sexually assaulted for the first time. And it was absolutely horrible. And as a man, it's just, it's just horrible. It's horrible for anyone. It's horrible for anybody. I don't mean to sound insensitive. But by the time I was 22, I had already been sexually assaulted. By the time I was 30, I had been sexually assaulted five times. You know, this can happen to you. These things happened at parties with my friends. These things happened in groups with my friends. These things can happen to you. Um, going on farther, I, I got involved with terrible people. The friend group that I had was no longer the friend group that I had when I began, and I started hanging out with just trash, just bar flies, and people that never left the bar, and people that only did drugs. They didn't have a job, they didn't have a hobby, they didn't have a personality. Their personality was doing drugs. You don't want to end up like that. And I don't want to see you end up like that. And the biggest thing, more so than the sexual assault, more so than the loss of money, more so than the loss of opportunities, more so than the loss of your libido, and it does happen, the biggest thing that I lost was my memory. I don't have many memories anymore of my 20s. I'm only 31 years old. That means that I basically don't remember a third of my life. I don't want this to happen to you. And you can stop it right now. You can decide to be sober right now you know being sober you don't need to be sober for a certain amount of days you can take a sip of beer put down your can and say I am now sober what sobriety is staying away from that not necessarily consuming it you know so please put down your drink Listen to the words that I'm saying. These things can 100% happen to you. Everyone that I went to the uh, rehab with, and I was there with probably over 100 people, every single one of them had been sexually assaulted at least once. Every single one of them. Okay? Every single one of them had dealt with violence or an abusive relationship in their past. Every one of them. I don't want you to be like that. I want you to be able to get help and to be a great person because the amount that I have accomplished in only 331 days is so astonishing that I, I can't even believe it. I can't even, I would have thought that it would have taken me 15 or, or 20 years to get to where I am now uh, emotionally and health-wise. I'm doing great. And just a year ago, I was literally about to die. So, please, any youth out there, and it's, this doesn't just need to be for the youth, but this is specific, like, geared towards a younger generation. Guys, you are not indestructible. The way that drugs are being created now, compared to when I was young, and when my parents were young, and when they were young, it's just insane how powerful things are these days. So, please, for your parents' sake, for your friends' sake, for the people who love you, 
please try your best to get help. Set a quit day for yourself. Set a day where you can say, today I'm going to stop doing that. Find a hobby. Find something to keep your mind occupied with. Find a great video game. Skyrim is always a fantastic video game to lose yourself in. That's about it. So, parents, please show this to your kids. Um, if there's anybody out there struggling, please take a look at this video. If you're in Canada or you're in the United States, please give one of the numbers that I have down there a call. My email is always open. You're more than welcome to email me at any time and I will do my best to email back to you. Um, I'm going to have a business line shortly and that's about it. So guys, thank you for listening to me. I hope that what I said might resonate with you and I just really hope that this might be an eye opener for you and you can get the help that you need. All right, guys? All right, other than that, guys, only like 15% of you are subscribed. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I really appreciate all the support. Uh, thank you so much to all of the people watching overseas. Uh, it's absolutely amazing to think that, you know, I'm just, a li I'm just a guy sitting in a room in Southern Ontario trying to make a difference and the fact that there's people all over the world watching is pretty amazing so guys wherever you are in the whole wide world please stay safe and if you uh if you're drinking please have a ride home please drink properly please drink safely and if you're using drugs please just be safe nobody nobody wants to wake up in the morning and find out that you're not with us anymore Okay? You're so loved. Alright? Guys, thank you so much. I'm going to get going. I'm sorry for the late upload, but I had a long day at work today. Alright? God bless. I really appreciate it. And thank you, thank you so much for watching my video. And guys, please, look into my eyes. I promise that you can get better. I promise. If I can do it, you can do it. Alright? Bye, guys.